I have seen this advertised so much on Instagram. This is Total Cover Cream Foundation. So I have been curious. I'm not usually a compact kind of person, cream foundation person. Okay, did that make sense at all? It comes with one of these sponges, which I doubt I will ever use. Pretty packaging. It's kind of nice that it's got this little notch so you can feel for it and know where to open. I kind of like that. It's magnetic. It does have a, oh, a mirror. Oh, my favorite thing in the world. <gasps> Why is that so satisfying? The color, hmm, we'll see. Then we're gonna try this. It's a brand called Subtle Stacks. Okay, so I got my stacks all done. They basically, you take off these things that come with the top of it and you just screw it into the base. It's very simple, very easy to do. Now I can open it up. This is actually a lip balm. Did I do it right? Yeah, that's the lip balm. And then you have words to tell you where every what everything is. Does it bother me that they're not all completely straight? Yes, the OCD in me does. <laughs> totally bothers me. We'll just let that one go. <laughs> okay. I don't know where this would go. I guess maybe it would maybe just sit. Oh yeah, sits on the top. So I guess maybe you would want not the lip balm on the top, the powder. I can always switch it around, that's not a big deal. I also got their brush, I don't remember. I think this was free. I bought these like during Black Friday. And so you can get fluffier the lower it is and as you go up, if you want a tighter one for like, I don't know, bronzer or something, you can do that or loose like this if you want powder. We're gonna put these to the side because obviously we're gonna start with the Cover FX foundation. It says on the packaging that this can be used with a brush, your fingertips, a sponge, it can be used with everything. I'm gonna start with a brush. And actually it's got kind of a yucky smell. It's very faint, but it's not a very pleasant one. But I'm sure once it's on my face, I'm not gonna smell anything, but it's obviously not fragranced, which I like. I did put on the Porefessional Hydrating Primer. I put this on my forehead and just right around my nose. Oh, the cover's, color's good. I think this says it is, I don't know, is this full coverage? Total Cover Cream. I would think it's full coverage if it's a total cover. So I have a problem covering this right here. I always have a problem. So it'll be interesting to see if this covers it. It's very easy to maybe go overboard with this just because you don't actually like put this on your face. You don't know how much you're getting. I think the color is actually really good. Like almost a complete match. So far, I'm not seeing total coverage but I also think I need to pounce. It's relatively good. We'll see if it builds. I'm so excited because there's actual sun, like I can see sun streaming in behind me. It has been not sunny here for days. Now this is not cheap foundation, but I am a firm believer in spending my money on the things that truly matter. And to me, foundation matters. Now, can you find drugstore? Yeah, some of my favorite foundations are drugstore. So I'm not saying you have to spend money. I like to sh show you guys both. I lean towards drugstore because I would rather not spend that amount of money. So I'm assuming you don't either. But I do show some things that are not drugstore because you might not find a foundation or whatever that you like in a drugstore. So you do need to have some other options. So I like to show you that. And in case you're new around here, I am 57 and I have rosacea, which is under control because of my skincare. I have some hyperpigmentation that I'm working on and I have pretty extreme dry skin. It's under control-ish right now, but it can get to the point of just literally peeling. Um, in the summer, I'm much more of a normal skin, so I have the gamut on that. But, well, I never go oily. I don't even know what it's like to have oily skin. <laughs> From far away, that looks 
beautiful. It's gathering really strong already on my forehead lines and under my eyes. I tried not to put too much under my eyes, so it's not a lot there. I'm gonna use my Stands Out sponge. If you don't know what this is, it is like my dream little thing. It kind of just soaks up stuff and just makes everything look nicer. When you first get your Stands Out sponge, use it wet for like three times-ish and then you can use it dry afterwards. Now, I don't ever use this to actually put on my foundation. I just never have. Okay, it's still gathered there really strong. Didn't soak it up a lot, so let me go to a damp sponge. Maybe that will distribute it a little bit more. Now, I still see, do you guys see it? Do you see some of my, I see some of my blemishes coming through. Before I get it all settled, let me try again, and I won't put any up in where it gathers and stuff. I'm just gonna put it in those certain spots and see if I can get a much more full coverage. Now, of course, I didn't put any concealer on. No, I still see it. Do you guys see it? Right there. I just have such a hard time covering that. <laughs> all right, I think this looks pretty nice. It's a little bit like too much right there. So I am gonna, because I put on a second layer, I'm just gonna try to even that out a little bit more. I would say that this is a satin finish. It's got a bit of a glow to it, but not over. Like I don't feel like I look greasy. I like a bit of a glow. Right now I'm actually thrilled with it. We'll see how it lasts all day. Let's switch to Subtle Stacks because I am so excited to try this. I mean, I like the concept. I did review Trustique. If you haven't seen that, I will link that video right here. Trustique is kind of the same concept, not in stacks, but like it's everything in one container and you could travel with it if you loved it. You need to go watch that video to see if I loved it. You'll know by the title of the video what my thoughts were. <laughs> it's a very interesting watch. The things that I purchased were a shine control powder. Isn't what all powder is shine control? Maybe not. Eyeshadow, a bronzer, a blush, and a lip balm. My thought process is this. If I wanted to carry something with me, let's say I was going to an event. This is rather big. It would not fit in a small purse. Definitely not. But let's say I wanted to go to an event and have things to touch up. This is the beauty of this. I could take this off and just put the lid on the powder and just take my powder with me. And that's where you would put this on. In fact, I'm gonna keep it there because that seems logical to me. So you can switch it all the way around you want. It's very interesting. I have yet to find any one of these that is an all-in-one inclusive thing, like your whole face in one thing, that I like all of it. I think that's a really hard thing to do, but this could be it, who knows? I'm going to pat down my forehead a bit with this powder. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot this was in it. I, I, I kind of think I won't like this, so I, <laughs> I feel like that's just a touch-up thing. Let's go with the brush they sent. I'm not gonna want a huge amount of powder, so I'm gonna bring this all the way down. Okay, good amount. Yeah, there's some powder going on there. I'm not a huge fan of putting powder on with a brush. I'd much rather use a um, puff or something like that. Oh my, I just got it all over my hair. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but now I look like I have dandruff in my hair. Okay, let's get that out. <laughs> but let's bring it up a bit. I'll make sure all the creases are out. Okay, that's not an unpleasant experience. The brush is relatively smooth. A lot comes off of it, as you can see, so be careful to not get so much. And I'm not smelling anything so far, so it must be unscented. And I am gonna just use the over. I always crease, I have this little wrinkle right there, and my marionette lines that I just so love. Okay, and then I'm going to lower this 
because the rest of this is all powder. There's not a cream except for the lip balm. So I need to powder down my face. Okay, it's definitely translucent. I wonder if I'd like this better. I should try this. Okay, I actually think I do like that better because it just, it's more like a puff. It rubs across your face. I kind of like that better. I don't know if it does a better job, but I mean, I would never be able to see myself in this tiny little mirror. There's that. I kind of wish this flipped instead of screwing off. Okay, the lip balm. Okay, as I'm doing it, it's kind of turning in it, but I am able to get it. It's definitely just a lip balm. Like, it really doesn't have much color. It's moving around in the case. I would say it's very emollient. Like, I feel like I have to really get it going. Let's go with the eyeshadow. There is a dark one and then a shimmer. I feel like you need a transition color, a little bit deeper color, and a little bit of shimmer. I actually think you need four. You need a highlighter under your brow bone. So I think you need four, which I'm not sure if I could have done four if there was two other that look good. These are separate pans, but you couldn't buy just this one side. You had to buy these two together. So I really feel like they should have done it where you could buy single individual half ones and then you could mix and match. Does that make sense? Oh, there's the darker shade and this is the shimmer. Okay, those actually look pretty. Ooh, lots of powder, <laughs> lots of powder. Go above my crease, cause I have hooded eyes. And I like using this brush for this cause I don't want a lot of color. I want it to be kind of diffused as opposed to a smaller, more dense brush. So I like to do a thicker there and just kind of come around and just kind of hit over to this side. <laughs> hit. I actually am gonna switch to a smaller one. So this is the 212 brush. I kind of want a little bit smaller just for right there. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to take a more small condensed brush. This is the 204 from BK Beauty. And this, let me make sure it's all no creases. I'm gonna run this right underneath my lashes. Okay, that I like. All right, I do see some creasing, so that I'm not a fan of. <laughs> And I did set it, so. But sometimes I know that a lot of concealers or foundations need to be set twice. For me, I have a really hard time getting them to set. So I went under my eyes a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the shimmer, and I'm gonna use my finger. This is kind of a darker shimmer than I would normally like. Oh, but it's pretty. I do like that. Kind of a cool tone. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take the fluffier brush. Just kind of make sure there's no distinct lines where one starts. Okay, I actually like that. That's pretty. Okay, I did my eyes as far as mascara. I put some brow gel in to get them to stand up. I wanted you to notice something. I see, like, it just is not laying right. Do you guys see that? It just, I don't know. It's not laying very nicely on my skin. It looks like it's coming off in areas. I hope that's coming across. It looks dreadful to me. Like, the foundation looks horrible. I'm gonna try to just see if I can make it look a little, uh, it's just, and I'm seeing the white polka dots and this is a good color match. So not impressed so far with this foundation. I am impressed with this eyeshadow. Like I really like that. I think that's very pretty, very subtle, not, I don't know. It's very nice. It's not creasing anymore on my forehead. So I feel like the powder did stop that. I did see a little bit under my eye when I was doing my mascara. So I am gonna set it again right at the end. 
But let's go in with the bronzer. It looks, oh, looks a little dark. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use the BK 112 brush for the bronzer. This is so dark. I hope I didn't choose poorly, but you know, it might not come across as dark. Okay, I mean, it's not that dark. It's pulling a little orange, especially in my viewfinder. It doesn't look as orange in person. I feel like it's a little patchy. And I did, although it's really sticky still, maybe I need to powder down a little bit more. Where's the powder? Oh yeah, it's at the top. I'm going to use a puff and do this side just a little bit more. Oh, that's right, I added a tiny bit, Bobby. That was my mistake. Let's just blend this out a little bit and I'm going, okay, that, wow, that blended it out a lot. And I'm gonna put a little bit of powder on there let me finish this they do unscrew a little bit you kind of have to keep screwing them in okay let's try again although it doesn't look bad but i definitely diffused it oh it looks like it's not going right there do you guys see that <laughs> very strange i always feel like blush and bronzer should go on a little bit darker or heavier because that's like the first thing that wears off because you're touching your face and I don't know I touch my face way too much let's get the blush on maybe with the blush all blended it'll look better I'm going to use the refer number four brush this is my favorite right now blush brush okay wow this is a lot There's some blush. <laughs> I'm gonna use a clean brush. And try to blend it out a little bit more. I don't know about this. Right now, it just seems a little strong to me. I like a much more subtle blush. I'm gonna take my makeup brush that I used and just kind of dab it in there the I'm sorry the foundation brush see if I can settle this down a little bit because it seems a little strong and so patchy like so patchy I'm not real thrilled with that okay it's just not moving it's kind of stuck like I can't blend it out I'm not happy I feel like you see a line and I don't like that that helped a little bit right but see, do you see that? It's like not there. Okay, so I did put a lip liner on. It is Laura Geller's Happy Hazelnut, one of my favorite. And I'm gonna use the lip balm again. And I wonder, is there actual color for this? Oh, Mediterranean Mint. Oh yeah, it does have kind of a minty smell to it. I don't know why you need mint, but I, I don't, I think this needed to be much more emollient like it's just not easy to put on it's kind of stiff yeah that's not my favorite <laughs> i would not reach for this on a continual basis by any stretch my face does feel sticky still i would say right now the winner of this entire thing is the eyeshadow like i really like my eyeshadow right now i think i would still like to have a little bit of something right there but I just think it looks pretty now if it stays all day we'll see I'm not at all liking this foundation it's just settling in on my pores like really settling in I, I do not like that at all I am going to do a check-in at the end of the day and we will see how I like this all right it is five o'clock I've been wearing this all day you're gonna hear some sounds because my husband's doing some home improvement things right outside my door so excuse the banging the foundation looks a little bit better but i think it's because it pretty much wore off but i can definitely see this more and i can see redness more i don't know if you guys are picking up on that the blush and the, and the bronzer is pretty much off like i don't see it at all 
and you guys know how much I put on before, so I'm kind of sad about that. The eyeshadow still looks pretty good, so I will say I like that. I'm not that thrilled with this. I think I'm going to try it again. Well, I know I'm going to try it again with different scenarios. Figure out if there's some other way that this works better. I'm honestly not a fan of something that I have to figure out how to make it work. It should just work. But there are some foundations that work better than others with different kinds of primers. So I do like to work with that and see if I can make it work. So I will fill you in again on a speed review. I think for this, and I'll try all of these again, it could be that the blush and the bronzer went off because this came off. It was on top of that. So that could be the reason this didn't work. My under eye did stay set and my lines on my forehead stayed set. So I will say the powder worked pretty good. I wouldn't say it was like immensely blurring or this amazing powder. Like I certainly wouldn't buy this just for the powder. Now I would consider it maybe for just the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna kind of look into it and see if there's other colors that I was interested in and see, cause it could be just a stack of a few different eyeshadows that I really like. This lip balm is just not, it's just so hard. Like I just don't think it's worth it. Remember I was telling you about the one about Tristique? That is kind of another all-inclusive one. I'm going to link that video here. There was something that is in that video that it was actually shocking to me. It was just funny to watch it happen live while I was filming. All right, I'll see you in that one or another one. God bless.